Well, started gutting the inside today. Makes it pretty easy to take all this stuff apart. Putting it back could be a different story. Put the wheel on just to see what it's going to look like. It'll look better when we get a bed on it. But uh, took the seat out, carpet out. Well, it wouldn't have a carpet, had a rubber mat. Dash pad off. I even asked for a closer cut. They take it all out. Because doing a color change, I think we're going to paint all this ruby red. Paint all that ruby red. Got to take these door panels off next, get them out of the way. And uh, yeah, this dash pad was all busted up. So we throw that out. Got a new one coming. Yeah, man, piece of cake. Should be fun putting it all back together. We have, we bought a uh, painless wiring harness. It turns out there's not really that much in there. See, it just had a fuse block done in. So it's gonna be pretty easy to get all that rewired. Ain't gonna be nothing to it, man. Doesn't really need it rewired. Just, I bought it for the engine harness. Uh, on the outside, but I shoved all the engine harness back through the firewall to get out of the way. Now I'm fixing to pull the radio out and pull these controls right here out uh, the, and take the steering. We've got to take the steering column too. So she's going to be barely naked. Technically, all you got is four boats to pull, uh, pull the cab off the frame, but uh, the uh, my body shop guy doesn't want it off the frame. He wants it on there so, so that he can... Uh, I took all the rubber out. So that he can just uh, roll it around. So... If I took that off, it'd be a frame off restoration. Which, man, I have never torn one so far apart in my life, dude. That is crazy. Okay, so we got this CPP C notch bracket because we did an axle flip kit. Showed you guys me putting the rear and everything in. This is the limit of instructions they give you. There's no template or anything. They just tell you to put that up there and notch it out and cut it and drill it. So I caught in some expert help. Up my nephew over here, he has this fancy little laser sight. Puts a line over on the other side. You guys see that? Knows exactly where the center is. Now we just go mark the center and then start notching her out. That's why we do that. Improvise. Okay, so making some progress. Been out here probably, oh, I don't know, two and a half hours. Got it all cut out, got it. And we're working on drilling it now. That's a job. Uh, I got four bolts in the bottom and then six bolts in the sides. So we're gonna get it bolted in there. And uh, my nephew's an excellent welder, but <clears throat> believe it or not, these bolts are stronger than the weld, so we're just gonna bolt it. Uh, we could come back and throw a weld on it just for the fun of it, but we'll see what he wants to do. But I think the bolts are gonna work fine. Once we get that down, we throw the shocks in the rear and put the wheels on or drop her down and the back is done. And we'll come back with some of that uh, uh, rust coating and uh, clean it up and put the rust coating on it. Man, the whole truck is coming along, buddy. Whew. What a job. Be glad this is over. Got the mirrors off today. Took the door panels off. I still got to get the steering column out, the radio, and the defroster. And I got to take the wire and clean all that up. That's just surface rust on the top. Clean all that and put rust preventer. This whole cab was solid, buddy. I mean... It is a remarkable truck to to uh, to do this to. All right, let's get back to work. All right, got the rear end done. Got her back on her wheels. Yeah, the wheels are nasty. Uh, I hope these. I hope my width is still the same and nothing changed. It's a 12 volt rear end out of a truck, so it should be the same width. But if not, we're going to, we're going to be changing these wheels. Pretty soon anyway, because I want a deeper dish wheel. I'm hoping to get a deeper dish, because see it's got all this on there. I hope we get a wheel here with a off, straight offset, so. I don't really have a deeper dish. Plus, I want to go further back here. I'm going to bring this tire all the way to the edge of the leaf spring. And get three more inches of rubber on there. So I'm going to roast these off pretty quick. 
with that 496 up there. But anyway, so got it done. We're gonna wait and put the shocks on it. Cause once I get it on totally on the ground, well, I mean it's on the ground now, once I get it totally put together the bed on it, all the weight in the truck and gear sit down, I can set the pinion angle, get the trans in it, <clears throat> get the drive line set right. But I can already tell, man, she's gonna be riding, she'll be riding low. I think it's like a five inch drop right there. Uh, of course, the front's still on these jack stands. I'm fixing to swap them out for these big ones. Neighbor, hang on. When I'm not towing cars and trucks and my Peterbilt, I'm watching Life is Good. Come on.